So there's a quick look at the Diatone 339 cube build that I did. So a quick rundown of the components. You've seen these before. I have the iFlight Zing Nano 1105-6000 kV motors for 3S and also the Beta FPV 12 uh, amp F4 all-in-one, the toothpick board they're calling it, along with the Happy Model uh, VTX slash DVR, the Diamond, uh, and the Runcam Nano 2. And I decided to use my own 3D printed uh, Ladrone Club Pickle Canopy as opposed to the one that came with the kit, which I was a little bit taller and it came in the package a little bit smushed. I mean, you can, once you, once you mount it, it straightens out okay, but I just preferred the one that I printed myself, so I'm using that. And I'm also checking out these new Gemfan 3018 by Blades, the Hurricanes. So it's a very nice frame, uh, very strong, nice design. Comes with pretty nice hardware, nice Velcro strap, nice screws, although the uh, screws that they include for the standoffs are plastic, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, so I use some of my own screws, and speaking of which, this is actually quite a handy little kit, which I got from uh, Race Day Quads. It says the M2 uh, nuts and bolts, some very long uh, screws or nuts, and some very short ones as well. So very handy for dealing with these little micros. Uh, oh, and also for this one, I uh, decided to flash um, Betaflight uh, 4.1. Uh, first I had to get the Betaflight Configurator 10.6, I think, and then flashed it to Betaflight 4.1 because I wanted to check out the uh, uh, sliders, tuning the PIDs with the uh, sliders, and uh, that seemed to work out pretty well. And it has all those great handy tool tips, so it tells you more or less what everything does, so I think that's a great advancement uh, for Betaflight and for tuning in general. So that's uh, that seemed to work out well, and the tune, the base tune I kind of made up for this seemed to work well on 3S. And speaking of which, I tried this on two batteries, a 3S300 and also a 3S450, and uh, this uh, quad without, without a battery weighs about 70 grams, so a little bit on the heavy side, although it is fully featured and has plenty of power. And uh, with the 300 3S, it's about 100 grams, and with the, well, the 3S450, it was about 110 grams, so a little bit on the heavy side, although it's, it, it did perform well, and I will say on the, uh, the 3S300, on uh, full throttle, I was getting some voltage sag, some uh, battery critical flashing, but with the 3S450, I didn't have that issue. I didn't get any uh, uh, voltage sag until towards the end of the pack, so that's fine. And I was getting about five minutes of flight time, and if you were pushing it, you know, still get over four minutes of flight. So I think that's a pretty good indication that the 3S450 is a good match for this um, uh, power system and this weight. Um, so anyway, please enjoy this flight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Bye.